What can I do about cramps in my calves at night? Teresa Wilborn, great question. Oftentimes people do that. One of the problems with calf, or particularly in women that wear high heel shoes because you shorten your calf by the posture that your foot takes. Your foot should be like this. And when you wear high heels, it's tilted down like that. And so that's, that shortens your calf. So you, when it's time to straighten your foot out, it rebels. Uh, other times, uh, it can be something like a potassium deficiency. So it can be metabolic. It can be physiologic by posturing. Uh, one of the things that I have found that when you lay in the bed at night, particularly if you lay flat on your back, when you pull the covers up over your feet, it forces your feet to point down and for your toes to be pointed, which shortens your calves. That can cause spasms, cramps, or, or, or what you're describing. And so what Dr. Kaya does is put socks on his feet, uncover my feet so that they are not bundled. And uh, so my toes can point straight up and that, that's the relaxed posture. Now, if you sleep on your side, it doesn't matter. But if you sleep on your uh, stomach, your feet are also pointed down and shortening your calf and it can do that. But check for things like uh, metabolic causes like low potassium. Uh, one of the things that uh, gives you great relief from that is tonic water. Tonic water uh, used to come in tablets, basically, and people could take them to relieve their cramps. Uh, and They took them off the market. But uh, the same tonic water that you mix your gin and tonic and your vodka tonic with, uh, just take a, a four to six ounces of that at night, put lemon in it, lime, you don't have to, tonic water doesn't taste bad, but the Canada Dry, the, the Sweeps brand, any of them, you can buy them in any grocery store, just take a glass of that, do that for about a couple of weeks and see if that makes a difference, and that may change your life, but remember what I said about shortening your calves with either your shoes or your posture when you're laying in the bed. Okay, great question, Teresa.